It is another basic sorgonomics here. I guess I should start dating these. Uh, Wednesday, September 27th. I have a watch to do that now. I don't think I had that when I did these before. But with me, I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron. On the Twitter with me is uh, co-owner of uh, Psychic Media Services and uh, producer of the podcast night on Sorgatron Media, including Awesome Cats and Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's Missy. Hi. I will be able to this. I will be able to this. Flaw. So you're you're having as, <laughs> as stellar a morning. I as love I my am. coffee over on my desk, and I should have had a little bit more. But well, this is the this is the case, and I think maybe this is what uh, our Wednesdays are going to be: one, bumbling, um, and two, uh, kind of just a post mortem because we had the big podcast night. It's kind of our big thing where we we record. You know, of course, both uh, you know, uh, awesome cast and and the wrestling mayhem show. So. You know, that's really what's uh, kind of present on our mind. And we've been doing that for a long, long, long time, right? So what you're saying is Wednesdays for us are kind of our hangover day. It is. I, I actually hangover. have on my schedule uh, podcast <laughs> podcast hangover because um, it, it really is. It really is for us because it, it, it's a late night for us and, and there's a lot that goes into it. And, uh, and, and it is kind of like we're recovering, whether that be putting all the posts out. I know you do all the social media and everything like that. Well, let's, let's break it down for people. Um, so we record the awesome cast, uh, starting at seven ish, uh, do that for about an hour. So around eight o'clock we're doing post-production on the awesome cast between eight o'clock and 10 o'clock. And then 10 o'clock we're doing the mayhem show. And that usually goes until, give or take, midnight, because by the time that we actually get the show rolling and all the shenanigans, post-show discussions, and all that other fun jazz, midnight is about the ballpark that we're, we're aiming for. Mm. That doesn't include if we have our Indie Mayhem interview after the main show. That takes I it later. Because <laughs> I've put a hard line on that, and I give them the choice, too. Because we they because somebody WWE decided to, SmackDown's got to be live on Tuesdays because nobody's doing anything on Tuesday except for us apparently, and uh, yeah no absolutely um, I just realized all the mics were on <laughs> so we just gonna fix that uh, but uh, but no no absolutely so 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 like we I mean we have to watch SmackDown so we know what happens right I mean what if we didn't watch SmackDown had an interview and then uh, Kevin Owens head butted Vince McMahon and we had no idea you know I mean. Wait. It, Kevin Owens had budget vision yes! plan. Yes, <laughs> like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it really is like kind of a no. We we need to pay attention, and we have some. We, we we're not going to compete with something like that, no. you know. And then they put two hundred five live on, and not everybody watches that, but people maybe watch it along with us, and 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 and, and that's kind of a fun thing that ha- that happens with it because we get updates on what's happening, but not as significant as one of their one top of their flag- flagship shows. Yeah, top yeah. flagship shows. You know? Absolutely. So. Um, but no, it, it, and, and we have a lot of fun with it. We have guests on. We're, we've been really, especially since we've gone in the studio, uh, making sure there's somebody new on every week, right? Whether it works out or not. Um, we, we, of course, the ones that did work out, uh, Frank from um, the Pittsburgh Podcast Network uh, joined us. Uh, always great. Always great to get his updates about BlackBerry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the the annual BlackBerry updates, we always seem to have Frank on the show right around something drops. Mm-hmm. And it's completely unintentional because we're just like, we need to have Frank back on. Mm-hmm. And when we get him in studio, he's like, oh, I'm really glad that you had me on because I am a huge fan of BlackBerry. And they came up with, they came out with some new news about things or they came out with a new phone or a new device. Uh, so it's it's always entertaining. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, and, and I also realized something with, with uh, things like that, you know. Uh, I, I realized that, you know, typically when I, I hit somebody up and say, hey, we should have coffee, it, it's actually turned into, hey, you should get on the podcast with me, you know. And that's kind of our thing that, you know, especially Frank is somebody we have on every once in a while. And we know we're catching up with him, right? Mm-hmm. So, and I think that's kind of a cool thing to have that ability uh, to do that and, uh, you know, be able to create something and, and kind of, have that jive a little bit right oh absolutely um it's also nice because again within our network of people it's interesting because frank does the pittsburgh podcast network Mm -hmm. we have a podcast network however it is two completely different philosophies with regard to our stuff so it's nice to be able to collaborate and come together for certain things especially with PodCamp coming up this weekend and international podcast day happening to be the saturday that we scheduled PodCamp for so it, it's kind of interesting to make that an all-inclusive discussion 
to the extent that we can. Absolutely. And then we had, uh, we we're supposed to have the Rev on, the Rev Ron Hunt, um, who, who we know from, from R- RWA that we film and will actually be there this Saturday night uh, for that show. And, um, and, and, and we got, you know, first there was like some messages like, hey, you know, we're, he's, he's coming straight off of the set of a Stephen King film that's happening down in West Virginia that he's been involved in in the last, because uh, he's been doing some acting. And, uh, you know, so, so that was interesting. And then uh, we get starting to get messages around, I don't know, 9, 9.30, something like that. It's how he's uh, in standstill traffic on I-70. Yeah, he's, he's on his way, but he's delayed. And I-70 is just completely stopped and stacked up. Mm-hmm. So the, the best part about that was when he sent the photo. <laughs> uh, of a tractor trailer truck on fire. Yes. So that explained the holdup. And, you know, it was it was a massive tractor trailer fire. Mm-hmm. And needless to say, he, he missed his appearance in the studio. And plus, everybody was tweeting about it on top of that. So it was just like, well, you didn't have to set like a tractor trailer on fire in order to join us, sir. <laughs> well, I, I tweeted out from the from the Sorgatron Media mm-hmm. em- or Mayhem Show, I think, Twitter account about uh, the craziness that ensued. <laughs> Oh, we got we got some guests As here. As a result of that, and the dog's gonna go say the hi. The dog's gonna go say hi. <laughs> uh, so it was it was kind of entertaining because we had that going on for things. Welcome to live. Welcome podcasting. to live podcasting <laughs> on a ma- on a busy street. <laughs> yes, um, but yeah, it was it was kind of funny because we called him out for the fact that you know your your dog ate your homework kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. This is this is now your excuse for not showing up is you're lighting things on fire on i-70 i feel so bad right now because because our, our landlord just popped his head in and our, our our vicious chihuahua just like not came at him but he had some had things to say <laughs> just like our guard dog <laughs> but anyways uh <laughs> Well, but still, we had fun last night, and that's one thing we've learned is is kind of um, working on the fly, and, and even like this, um, you know, this is kind of, you know, something we do on the fly, right? And and uh, and now we have the dog, you know. Yeah, this is also a, doing his guard dog job in the middle of it. <laughs> this is also my reminder that we definitely need to get the on-air signs, mm-hmm. not only for the front-facing storefronts so that people out on the T and out yeah, on the street yeah. know that we're recording. But so that the people in the back also we, know. We, we forgot to throw our, our paper signs up. <laughs> so. Yeah. Because we just kind of did this. We're like, oh, we need to do basic sort of because we decided that's what we need to do. And, and here we are. So I just think, like, I'm, I'm more apt to do it for client progress because yeah, you know, oh, they're, yes. they're paying us to do it. And I'm like, hey, we're just going to go we're, record yeah, our we're, stuff. We're, we're, we're more laid us. back when it's just us. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, what the heck? So. Um, but anyways, uh, no, no, but again, another great podcast night, you know, something that we've been doing for a good long time. Um, I'm kind of happy we're not at the point where I was doing six different podcasts on one night at one point there. Uh, but, yeah. uh, it, it's definitely a little more laid back, but even, you know, but Hey, we get the, the two right that we do sometimes three and, uh, and it's a lot of fun to, to, to be doing it that way. So. Absolutely. And it's it's nice because Tuesday has become, especially in the neighborhood with the re- revitalization that we're going, that we're part of, mm-hmm. uh, it's it's nice because people can walk by and now that it's getting toward the winter months and the dark comes a little bit earlier, mm-hmm. we have this fully lit studio space and people are walking by, they're checking in. Uh, Frank, you mentioned, was on the Awesome Cast last night. He was waving at people as they're walking by. I love how distracted completely... he was sitting here on the couch. It was and hilarious. He's, 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 he's like waving at him like, hey, you know. Yeah. And they're waving back and they're screaming back and stuff. And they, they noticed the, the video monitor with uh, everything, you know, broadcasting on Facebook and everything. And we're, you know, we're working to, to get one that goes actually in the window. So people that will be a little more um, up front for people, who, you know, mm-hmm. driving by and everything like that. So. You know, it's it, it's been really fun to see see that and that interaction and, and having that kind of energy in here. I think. Yeah, and even even with Chad with the Enzo hair <laughs> last night, yes, it was great. It was hilarious. Um, I mean, he was doing a little dance and jive and everything like that. It, Every time somebody was... would walk by or the tea went by, he started doing his little dance. You know, the little Enzo dance with the with the hair sticking up. So yes. as I just did as the tram was going by. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chad was doing it last night. With exactly. The tram going by exactly. Too. Well, they could they could see him last night. Not so much with the sunlight today, probably, but yeah. but still. Um, but it's interesting. It, it's a lot of fun. And I'm, I'm, you know, it's a good, really good spot uh, that we're in with this and, and and having fun with that. So, uh, what did you learn from Podcast Day this week? 
I could not afford to go out and party hard anymore because two o'clock bedtime with a an eight o'clock breakfast meeting <laughs> is rough. <laughs> like, oh boy, you need to work on that scheduling. That's my thing. I'm yeah. like, I, I have that podcast hangover right now, quite mm-hmm. literally. I had coffee. I need to go have more coffee mm-hmm. and maybe even more coffee on top of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I learned this week that uh, that uh, people are gonna are getting more comfortable in here, and therefore are gonna mess more with people walking by. <laughs> so so we got to see how how that goes but i mean i think it has especially those shows that have that live element all the time we're already talking with the chat rooms and everything like that i think that's really a really cool spot for those things yeah absolutely so. and i like the integration katie and i were talking about how facebook is rewarding people for doing regular scheduled content mm-hmm. And we saw a massive uptick in numbers last night for our live viewers on AwesomeCast in particular. And I'm curious to, to kind of dive into the analytics and find out what. See what happens. Yeah. And, and is it that? Or is it, you know, is the same thing going to happen as we start doing this on a regular basis again? You know, so. So, yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. Um, it's nice. It's things are things are changing. Things are coming along and we're going to we're going to follow it. Well, if you want to see the results of last night, uh, most of the videos are posted already in the audio and everything over at uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com and AwesomeCast.com. Uh, or we... you can also check them out on our main site, SorgatronMedia.com. That's right. That's right. And, uh, you know, and, and again, video versions, audio versions. I, I definitely recommend the video version of Wrestling Mayhem Show this week because there's a lot of visual stuff with that hair. Uh, so, and it's a little bit a little bit fun and it gives people to go maybe check it out if they're listening in the car later and, and everything. And, and thank you everybody that's been checking out this show uh, uh the the latest reboot of, of basic ergonomics as uh we get going here and uh and we're working on studio upgrades so hopefully we'll be talking about those in the next couple of days either how they worked or they didn't work either way i'll have some opinions uh we'll see you guys next time missy at rebellious flaw on the twitter i'm at sorgatron we'll see you guys